I just had a 40 minute conversation with Bishop Lamar Whitehead, and he has previously been known as someone who has a close personal relationship with Mayor Adams, his flashy lifestyle, his religion, but he also wants people to know how much he's given back to this community here in Brooklyn, and that for some reason believes he was targeted while in the middle of a sermon here. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, why are you so flashy? Known for his extravagance and flair in the sanctuary, Bishop Lamore Whitehead says he was held up in the house of God during Sunday service in an apparent targeted armed robbery. I was troubled with a phone call that there were speculations that there were guns in my church. And I had to have my attorney go handle that and deal with that. And I don't know if this is connected. The 44 year old told detectives he and his wife were robbed of a reported $1 million in jewelry they were wearing. And the gunpoint robbery went down as the service was being live streamed online, which has since been removed. When I see them come into the sanctuary with their guns, I told everybody, get out. Everybody just get out. Police were told as many as 25 people were inside the Canarsie Church at the time, but no one was hurt, though left fearing for their lives. It hurts me because my church is hurt. You know, the women and children that was in my church, my daughter, she's traumatized right now. She still is not even talking because of that experience. They had the gun in my eight-month-old face. The suspects ran out with expensive rings, watches, and necklaces, and drove away in this white Mercedes, according to detectives. You did this to the church, the church where I'm sure your grandmother praised God and praised Jesus. Whitehead said it's not about the money, it's about the safety of his family and his congregants, and that he is now personally putting up $50,000 for a reward for anyone who helps catch the suspects involved.